Hall bats it down. He had three points last game. Got ahead to McNeil. Fed that one in front, and it's just deflected wide by Jagger. Line to Brown. Now left side, Huck. Fed it across. Wide open. Silverberg denied. And Calgary's PK has been money this year. 86.7%. Only Brooks has a better PK this year. As Owen McNeil speeds his way in. Left side to the corner. Centered in. Tapper scores. Owen McNeil continues to be a masterful setup man, and he finds Jagger Tapper at the right side of the crease, and all he had to do was tap it in, and the Oilers take a 1-0 lead. Yeah, Jagger I'm is just glad we're back up here in the booth. That's true. Yeah, yeah it's love great. love calling games from up here at Way Max better than being on the concourse. Maybe Okotok should build one like this. Here's Tapper cutting it on goal. His shot is a great bad save by goaltender Molyneux. Oh, poked out to the red line. McGuire had it knocked out of his reach. And this is a two-on-one. Chance from the left circle. And the shot is deflected by the stick of Sam Hall from the left side. And the centering feed from Buckley was blocked by Tapper, allowing Wilson to poke it ahead. And Tapper is away. Short-handed. Denied rebound. Wilson's denied as well. Garland Tap took it back for Calgary. Gets it ahead, Lazinski, poke check by McNeil as he carries in. Huck digs this to the opposing blue, and now Sam Huck with an opportunity. In on goal! Scores! Short-handed goal for Sam Huck, and I don't know if he even got a clean shot away. He was battling for that puck as he was being harangued from behind by a Calgary defender, and it just slid by Molinaro and into the back of the net. Oilers take a 2 nothing lead. So Julian Molinaro, after the fact, was trying to convince the officials that the puck had never crossed the goal line. It did. I saw it from here. It was in the back. Tokes clear it all the way down. They're back to even strength with 50 seconds to go. Oh my! A first period! And wow! Molinaro nearly put it into his own net. He had he tucked it down low, it went right to Easton Houston. Now up the middle, Lazinski has a complete clear-cut breakaway, and he's denied by the right pad of goaltender shot. Back to the near side corner, and Silverberg there. Nice spin move away from pressure to the side of the net. Backhand denied, rebound shot off the side of the net by McNeil, but he has drawn a penalty as Silverberg. Rookie on the power play, leaves for O'Halloran to drive down the right wall to the corner. Center Tapper, didn't get it through. Another try, airmailed it over the net. Hall swept it right side, O'Halloran back to Hall to McNeil left side across O'Halloran he scores right-handed shot he's outside the right face-off circle sneaks that in on the sharp angle Ethan O'Halloran the power play goal scoring machine that's his fifth on the man advantage this year Oilers lead three nothing out to the red line Canucks recollect though. Lazinski charges in right side against Maguire. Got around him. Break away! And he swept it wide left to the net. Silverberg deflects it down into Calgary territory. Gonna say no icing there as Cabelka is oh. shoved awkwardly from behind by Tapper. He'll get attacked by Bracco. And we'll get a big crowd at the end wall here. If Cabelka's injured, they gotta get out of here. Yeah, like, this you is cannot bad. Do this. You've got to stop doing this. Hockey, so major power play here for Calgary. You talk about opportunity, it's knocking here for the Calgary Canucks. Singleton sweeps it uh, at neutral for a right side carry in by Buckley. He's stymied as he carries in on a good back check by Ryland Brown, who then takes the puck away at the bench boards and shoots it in deep. Tokes for checking here. McNeil knocks it to the end wall of the Calgary zone. Centers, duel. Oh, he's denied by Molinaro. What a short-handed chance again. And there's only five seconds to go. The Oilers are going to kill off a full five-minute major power play and keep... Played for Prince George in the WHL to start last year before going to Vernon in the BCHL and then being traded to Calgary. Gavin Schmidt cuts to the right side, centering pass stops right on, and the rebound is a goal for Ty Hipkin that will give Calgary its first goal of this game in the third period. Uh, it's a rebound chance for Hipkin. It's an exciting, tight game as Silverberg drives his way in down the middle, gets around a defender to the slot, he shoots, oh what a save, rebound Cooper, oh he shot it off the outside of the left post. He and recollected by Ethan O'Halloran, fed out to Huck at the red line. Shifted ahead and Sokka behind one defender, cuts to the left circle, stops up, has time, centers, scores! Hunter Sokka just threw it in front from the wall. And then behind the net, Singleton will cut up to the left circle with it. And to the left point, knife at middle, looking for Casper. He can only poke check at it. Brett Wilson takes it away, fed it ahead. Silverberg gets around Singleton, scores! Long shot from the Calgary blue line. The exclamation point on this one as Silverberg dances his way around Singleton. Four affiliates in the line. Eight regulars unavailable to the Okotoks order. Five goals, five different goal scores, a 100% power play, a 100% penalty kill. And the Okotoks orders, as the final five seconds tick off in this game, have just come into Calgary 
and outskated and outperformed the Calgary Canucks. They dominate in a foreign building, 5-1 the final score as the final buzzer goes here in Calgary and the Oilers stand alone now in fourth place in the HAHL standings. What a night, Mike. Yeah, a stunning performance by these Oilers.